Hi everyone, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, once again, I'm joined by Chloe as we are here at City Concourse in London. Uh, now it's the first City Concourse to ever exist. So yeah, we don't really know what to expect of it, but we've just arrived in the show now and all the cars are behind me, I'll show you in a second, don't worry. Um, and it looks pretty good, but um, yeah, I think it's meant to kind of replicate Villa d'Este, but in the UK, I'm not too sure, but it does seem like a good event nonetheless. Also, just before I start the video, I must add that I have got my reactor lights on. Now, I never wear these in videos because um, they're my secondary pair of glasses. And I broke my other ones, so I'm kind of forced to wear them. So I apologize if I look a bit weird, um, I know. But uh, yeah, anyway, let's go have a look around this show and see what it's like. So I'm just now approaching the kind of hypercar section of the show. Um, and there's some pretty serious stuff here, so uh, take a look at this. established event. Um, there's some pretty amazing stuff here which I was pretty surprised about. Um, yeah, it's in such a weird location as well because we've got all these big tall buildings around us and then just a massive lawn. <laughs> it's so rare to have an area like this in such central part of London but it's awesome and hopefully they continue doing it in future years. <laughs> I think it was, um, back at Wilton House, before it had the Tempest pack, so before it had the like, extended carbon front splitter, the new wheels, the new exhaust, and now it looks incredible. <laughs> Finished in yellow, which I didn't think was going to suit Huayra, but to me, it personally does, it looks pretty awesome. So, Speciality of but we have two 599 GTOs, one of which is just a standard coupe version, but this one is technically an SA Aperta, which is basically the convertible version, but with a hefty amount of money, you can convert it back to the GTO specs, obviously. It does look exactly the same, just it doesn't have a roof, which um, it's pretty impressive, I must say, and this is the first time I've seen anything like this. I didn't even know it was possible, but, uh, wow, <laughs> I think it's the only word. And moving back to both Specialis, you can see that both of them are, in fact, signed by everyone that was a part of the manufacturing. It's, uh, here's another X that you can get with, I think, most modern Ferraris nowadays, but, uh, very cool option, but uh, I don't think I would go for it personally, because it kind of looks like someone's just got a Sharpie and squiggled all over your engine, but, uh, yeah. Nonetheless, it's still pretty cool to see two Speciales and two 599 GTOs. Another thing about this event which uh, certainly hasn't gone unnoticed is the lack of people, I suppose. Um, now, it's rare nowadays that you get quite a quiet event, uh, but it's definitely one of the quietest ones that I've been to in a long time. And uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. <laughs> out 
outside of the main lawn, and uh, it seems HRO have a bit of a lineup of, uh, of cars. One that catches my eye is the Aventador S. Now you're starting to see quite a lot of these around now, which is good. But uh, I must admit, at first I wasn't keen on uh, the new styling ideas and stuff. But uh, having seen quite a few of them now, they have definitely grown on me. All right, very cool. Next to a 488, as you can see, as well as some other pretty awesome stuff. So that is it for my experience here at City Concourse. Overall, it was a pretty good day, actually. Um, a very pleasant surprise, and uh, I had no idea that an event like this could actually happen in central London. But um, yeah, like I said earlier on in the video, I hope that they actually carry on doing it in future years, because it's definitely an event which I'd love to go to each year. Um, but yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed. If so, then please do make sure you leave a like on the video. Also, make sure you are subscribed to the channel if you're not already, because uh, I've got a lot of plans for videos coming up soon. And uh, yeah, other than that, thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you next time.